So cognitive processes, as we know, tells us how our mind works. So, and in relation to communication, as an NT, I know that when I communicate with my ST husband, I have to communicate in a different way, I have to give him facts, I have to speak sequentially, I have to start off telling him what I'm going to talk about so he knows what the topic is. Um, with my SS friends, again, I have to communicate in a particular way, I have to talk about certain topics, I have to talk about friends and family and all that stuff rather than ideas and debates. And, well, actually with NS, I'm still working out how to communicate with NS, so if anyone can invite me later, please do. So basically, cognitive processes tell us how our minds work, as we know. But I think what interaction styles does is tell you how your emotions work when you interact with others. So interaction type styles tells you about the beliefs that are driving your behaviour, driving your emotions, when you're communicating with other people. And I think that getting on with other people is largely about managing your feelings about yourself and your feelings about them. And I think interaction styles helps us with that. Um, so I'm going to say a little bit about that mind-body link that we touched on at the beginning, and then quite a lot about the beliefs and needs of each interaction style and how that comes across and how that causes conflict and so on.